What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video here today. So Daniel RPK has put out a report on his Patreon backing up something that I've been talking about with you all since late March. And I'm still going to say that this is not confirmed because it hasn't come out from any of the more reliable trades or anything like that. But of course, Daniel himself has been right way more in the past than I have been. And that report was about Kerry Russell who is reportedly in talks for a role in Scream 7. Now, if you need a refresher, a video I posted around late March, March 24th, I believe, I stated that I had heard someone from Cocaine Bear was in talks, or at least being eyed for a role in Scream 7, along with someone from the Halloween trilogy that we just got. And then more recently, in my last Scream video, I said that this person had also been a part of The Diplomat, and I said that if you know who stars in The Diplomat, who has also been in Cocaine Bear, then you know which star actress that I was talking about. And a lot of you started chiming in down in the conversation below. He's talking about Carrie Russell. Daniel RPK has come out to back up that someone from Cocaine Bear, Cocaine Bear, Carrie Russell, he's hearing is in talks to star in Scream 7, and her name is indeed Carrie Russell. I've talked about Carrie's alleged role, which again, not confirmed, but she apparently could potentially play a play a role that is in regards to being Sydney's best friend. That's really it, or at least a close friend of Sydney. She's not the Karen character I was talking about. That's another actress from the Halloween trilogy. So in terms of this report from Daniel, the other thing that I want to again remind you all of is the fact that she again is not signed. It's not confirmed. The reason I heard she hasn't committed to the project is because it could conflict. If she can't do Scream 7, it's because of the fact that she couldn't resolve her other schedule surrounding this renewal that Netflix, I guess, is going to announce soon for The Diplomat Season 3. Season 2 of The Diplomat, I don't think has even aired, but we might have a Season 3 renewal announcement very soon. And I'm hearing that's why she is having issues committing to Scream 7 because of the diplomat. So if her schedule will allow her to, then she will be in Scream 7. If she doesn't sign, it's because of her, because of the commitments to the diplomat, which I've heard just finished shooting the second season. And they want to go right back and shoot season three very soon, which, again, is where the conflicting schedule could come in for her and why she won't commit. Now, if she drops out. If she ends up not signing or drops the talks, ends up saying, hey, I can't do it because of the diplomat. I don't know who could be playing this role. Again, it's reportedly rumored, I will say rumored, to be Sydney's friend. A close friend to Sydney Prescott in the movie. I've already seen the predictions. Oh, well, they must be Ghostface. I really don't want them to go down that route. <laughs> Granted, have we really seen a best friend of Sydney turn out to be Ghostface? I don't think so. Yeah, Billy wasn't her best... Well, if you want to count Billy, I guess you can count Billy, but that was, that was her boyfriend. Hallie wasn't Ghostface. None of her friends in Scream 3 were Ghostface. She didn't even know who that dude was. Uh, case in point, look at her face. <laughs> Nev did a great job selling Sydney's confusion in that moment. Scream 4, not a friend, a close relative. Scream 5, didn't know who those two were. And she wasn't in Scream 6. So we actually haven't had, since Billy Loomis, a close friend of Sydney be the killer. So I guess I wouldn't mind them exploring it. It's just a matter of how it's done. Because I know people are going to already be saying, oh, if it's going to be a best friend role, then that person is going to be the killer. That's why I always say, as seasoned fans, it's highly unlikely that certain writing decisions are going to always shock us because we're on to what they like to do. It's all about the journey at this point. And if you can at least make the journey unpredictable or at least make me doubt my suspicions about who the killer is and it still ends up being who I always thought it was from the beginning, then that's a solid execution. Yeah, it was predictable, but at least in the middle of it all, I was able to be duped into thinking that hey maybe i'm wrong and it's this person then they pull the rug out from under me and tell me i was right the whole time that's a perfect way to, to get get one over on fans like us who are seasoned know how to predict things go into these movies saying oh i already knew who the killers were from the start because of xyz and all these little intricate details that other general audience viewers don't even consider when they sit down and watch these movies i think carrie russell would be a great addition to the cast i think carrie russell is a great actress i loved her in Cocaine Bear, even though I didn't really give Cocaine Bear a good review. <laughs> I don't think so. Carrie did a fine job in the movie. It just wasn't a movie I thought was deserving of a good review. It was a enjoyable movie, very entertaining. I just wouldn't call it a good movie. 
But I think Carrie joining Scream 7 would be a good fit or would be a good role for them to, or would be a good star for them to bring on board into the project. Yes, I understand that she's going to face backlash and yada, yada, yada. I get all of that. And the people who want to throw backlash her way, that is their right. As long as the backlash is not teetering into illegal activity, then you don't have a problem. You're fine to be upset with anyone who signs on to this project. That is not a problem at all whatsoever. What you do not have a right to do is start doing illegal activity in response to these people that sign on to commit the project. If you want to be upset with whoever signs on, that's your prerogative. Um, hopefully we get some confirmation on this sooner rather than later. Hopefully some other reputable trades can either confirm or deny that she is in talks to star in the film but again it's not confirmed because she might not be able to do the project due to commitments to the diplomat similar to how jasmine brown according to cinestealth at one point probably would not have been able to commit to seven if it interfered with her commitments and obligations contractually to a third season of yellow jackets which of course is not something she has to worry about at all because the core four has seemingly been erased altogether you guys can let me know what you think about Carrie Russell potentially joining Scream 7 down in the comment section below. Also, who do you think the Halloween Trilogy star is <laughs> that is rumored to be joining? Yes, I will make it more obvious that this person has also worked on a film with Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven in the past. She's just not confirmed either. None of it's confirmed. If you see people going around saying that this is confirmed, tell them that it's not. Make sure they are correctly labeling it as a rumor and do not let them spread it as something that is factual and confirmed when it's not unless it comes from one of the reputable trades but again let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to scream 7 why or why not those of you who aren't i know why you're not but those of you who are let me know why you are do you think this will be a good story for sydney prescott what are the narrative decisions you think they're going to take with sydney prescott as it pertains to this rumored best friend role what do you think is going to happen with ghostface what do you think is going to happen with the rest of the cast who would you like to see in the film all of that good jazz let me know down in the comment section below and for those of you who are wondering about where my chucky video was i'm just gonna put that out tomorrow wednesday when the episode airs but if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification your name is video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video